Hey ladies, today I'm going to be showing you how to do this uh, purple and green floral um, radial rhinestone look. Um, you can see it here in the lineup in a little bit better lighting. Uh, it's just a really mystic -y kind of fun um, 3D manicure. Uh, the polishes I used for this were Orly uh, Mysterious Curse as the base coat and Princess Glamour um, Bloom as the glittery um, shimmer coat for it. I used two coats of Orly and then one really, really thick coat of um, the Princess Glamour Glitter. It's a uh, like a green base, um, hmm, it's green and kind of clear white shimmer, uh, if that makes any sense. It's a light glitter, uh, let's put it that way. Um, I loaded it up really thick and that's what I'm going to use as the adhesive for the rhinestones today. Uh, I have a few different size and color rhinestones. I've got one big one uh, that's going to go on the side and kind of be the base of uh, the radial. Uh, it's I keep saying radial slash flower because it kind of looks like kind of like a sunburst kind of thing and it also kind of looks like a flower. So really your choice. I'm going to call it a radial flower. Um, I use light green and light purple rhinestones and I just used my dotting tool dipped in a little bit of um, extra um, the glitter polish I just put on the side and that's sticky and tacky enough to pick it up. Um, I rotated between green and purple uh, so it's really whatever you like. I also have some specialty stones that you'll see um, that are actually half green half purple and they were just something that I got online ages ago um, but you can find them in a lot of nail art supply stores or on eBay. Uh, really you know whatever colors you're doing match accordingly. Um, so start in the middle with the biggest rhinestone and then work your way out um, in layers you know like think of like the solar system kind of thing um, so work one color out then do the next one space out and then just go ahead and tap it down again um, with your dotting tool just to make sure that they're really um, stuck on to the nail because that's obviously the most important and um, you know so when I work I usually do a couple tap it down do a couple more tap them down um, because you just really really want them to um, just kind of be absorbed into that nail that thick layer of nail polish um, that's what's gonna help keep them on longer um, I don't use nail glue I just do it this way and I swear the manicures that I do with rhinestones are some of the longer lasting ones um, you can see it here um, when I show you the pictures in a few minutes you'll see it um, finished off and sealed with two top coats um, two or sorry two clear top coats on it um, and really that's all you need to do uh, so I hope you are inspired by this look and um, if you are or do other nail art I'd love to see it um, show me pictures of your nails on my Facebook page I'll toss a link down below and if you enjoyed this video um, please please make sure to like and subscribe to my channel and as always thanks so much for watching